last month's COP ended up in a surprise victory for less developed and small island nations who've been caught in the crosshairs of climate change when they finally managed to push through a loss and damage facility. And Pakistan was at the center of it all, particularly as the country suffered from super floods this past monsoon and damages in billions of dollars. Talk about it more in Pakistan's role in specific, we have environmental lawyer Ahmed Rafi Alam talking to us today. So first thing Rafi, how do you see this new loss and damage facility? And if you were to explain it to a layperson, what would you say to them? This loss and damage facility is, you have to understand there's a promise inside the UNFCCC system. The UNFCCC is trying to stabilize greenhouse gas emissions by getting developed countries to mitigate and having less developed countries adapt and by having a mechanism to finance the adaptation so that the money from the global north can come to the global south that adaptation can take place. Those promises have not been kept. Uh, I don't know whether we'll be able to maintain the 1.5, keep 1.5 alive even. Uh, we might smash through that that temperature threshold and that's already causing immense damage mostly to less developed countries um and it's it's that that failed promise that has created the necessity of a loss and damage facility this loss and damage is beyond adaptation beyond what you can prepare for like the 100 kilometer lake that we have in parts of balochistan and sindh so countries like Pakistan that are experiencing devastating climate impact should have a facility, a financial facility they can avail so their economies can get back on their feet because their economies are now being destroyed by the climate crisis, the majority of which greenhouse gases come from the global north. So this is, as Minister Sherry Rahman said, a down payment on climate justice. Okay, thanks for that uh, very comprehensive answer. A small follow up to it. It's uh, been talked about in the media, on social media, but how did, do you rate the Pakistan delegation's performance? What stood out? Uh, what could have been better? Uh, what you saw over there? And uh, just in any general comments. I had the great privilege of being part of the delegation and got to see our six or seven dedicated uh, uh, negotiators. Um, who are from the Foreign Office and from the uh, Ministry of Finance, as well as Kashmala Kakakhil from the private sector. And these people, regardless of where they're posted, will come to COP every single year and they will negotiate Pakistan's position. Uh, and I give them great credit and kudos. I saw, them, I saw them in action, but they were part of a coordinated effort by the Ministry of Climate Change to uh, take not just this loss and damage that was put onto the agenda at COP, but also make it a reality. Uh, and so Pakistan leveraged its position uh, as G77 plus China chair to be able to rally nations uh, to support a loss and damage facility. I thought that was excellent uh, because preceding the COP, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had also ably steered Pakistan's position as G77 in China and had actually been uh, instrumental in getting uh, loss and damage onto the agenda for the COP. And you have to understand that all of this took place in the last six months. The floods happened six months ago. So Pakistan's leadership at the international level has been phenomenal. They, Pakistan punched above its weight. But this does not translate to momentum back home. You know, we have, to, we have to understand that if we argue for a loss and damage facility, if we stand and, and get money due to us from the global north so that we can put our economies back on their feet, we can't be spending that money on coal-fired power plants or subsidizing the construction sector or the automobile sector. You know, there has to be transparency in how we spend that money. Uh, and we have to make sure it goes to the right places, to the right people, and in climate-friendly and resilient infrastructure. 